Venturini report for uh, uh, Saturday, May 8, uh, 2010. And, uh, well, what I want to talk about today is the uh, camera red light bill uh, that is passed in the Florida House, the Florida legislator, going to Charlie Chris's desk and expected to be signed into legislation. And uh, this directly affects this town I live in right now, uh, the city of Lakeland. Um, starting in June, they're going to put up uh, traffic lights. Well, I mean, ca traffic light cameras. And uh, this is right out of the, uh, the uh, Lakeland Ledger. Bill passed by legislator last week, allowing use of red light cameras statewide raises more questions than it answers for Lakeland officials. While the bill awaits Governor Charlie Crist's signature, city officials are evaluating what impact the anticipated law would have on its red light program. Chris's decision will, is expected on May 15th. There's a lot of things that aren't clear and leave an, a lot open to interpretation, said city spokesman Kevin Cook. We will need FDOT that's for the Department of Transportation, to determine that for us. Time out for one second. Let me tell you about FDOT, Florida Department of Transportation. They govern outside their bounds, outside their legal bounds. Happened to sit on a couple meetings myself. Um, uh, one, of the, one of the plans is to, is to be the, the part of the commuter rail that... Uh, that uh, they they want to start constructing along I four and around the state ninety five and seventy five, but the rail they they've talked about uh, making a super central Florida region, anywhere from Brevard all the way westbound. There it is, but the Department of Transportation, the Florida Department of Transportation districts, are larger than your county or your congressional representative districts. For instance, uh, I think it's District 5, which covers Brevard all the way up to Daytona and into Kissimmee. Then there's us here in Polk County, which covers the space between Kissimmee to right at the edge of Tampa. Then there's another district and they they always step outside their bounds and determining things and this will be no different uh, for a Department of Transportation acting like dictators that bureaucrats usually do act like unrepresent unelected representatives is what they are you can't vote them out only the people you vote in could strip them of that power and even so the only way you'll be able to do that is by legislation. But, I digress, back to the red light cameras. It is illegal to have them in the state of Florida, yet many cities have them. And this bill not only allows you to do it, it you, you know, because people always question the legality, and they just did it without, without caring, just to raise revenue, just to catch people uh, at, who run red lights and chase them down, get them to write a traffic ticket uh, to raise revenue. And, uh, like, Lakeland needs that because they have a big powerhouse called Lakeland Electric, which covers all of, the, all of Lakeland and then some is a city municipality. But anyways, I'm going back to this, uh, this whole thing where... Okay, you might think, okay, it's going to keep us safe or whatever. But you know, once you trade liberty for security, you get neither. You just get a pain in the butt thing to deal with, and you'll never be able to be left alone again. Now, I don't want this. I live right here in Lakeland. I don't want it. I don't think you want it either. And I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of you uh, get upset when you see these uh, cameras, but one of the biggest thing they one of the biggest things that are that 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 they got, they they ding people for, is when you're coming up to a red light, you're gonna make a right turn. Most of them, 
you could just go ahead and make a right turn um, you know if you stop first but most people get in the habit of just not making that complete stop and then turning and a lot of people mindlessly do that uh, especially if uh, especially to save on gasoline uh, if you drive a gas guzzler because like you could just kind of like let let loose on the on the gas pedal a little bit and just go into that turn you know that but they're gonna ding people for that uh, even though people should get into the habit of stopping completely than going you know I'm all for that but at the same time I'm not for um, uh, people keep being hunted down and uh, <laughs> And, and say, okay, yeah, we caught your license plate, we caught, you know, everything. And then being hunting down and having to, um, you know, they're going to write out tickets to them and just get some extra revenue. But see, this is going to lead to, and one of the biggest conveniences we have in Florida is we don't have to have a front license plate. And we never did not to my knowledge anyways at least for as long as I've been alive um, we never had front license plates we always had back license plates it'll lead to that because so many people will be going by these things and uh, not being able to take a picture of it unless there's cameras on the sides of it as well as the front of it um, more than likely there is, so they do have their bases covered. But suppose this does lead to someone makes the argument and say, even though they'll have side cameras as well, front cameras for these for these uh, traffic light cams, and so someone will try to make the argument and say that um, that because of this we need front license plates. So. That's gonna make you go down to the tag agency and pay extra, double the cost for another tag and double the cost for for uh, registrate for enough for a sticker, for two stickers instead of one. But anyways, you see where this all leads to? This all leads to you being spied on more than you are. Um, you know, you got the Patriot Act, and now they're trying to put the body scanners in the airports. Some airports have them, um, which actually not only shows your whole naked body, but it does radiate you like a hot dog in a microwave. And the Joe Lieberman bill, the Lieberman-McCain bill, uh, that uh, pretty much can strip you of your rights of a citizen if the government suspects you of being a terrorist. And it's not just brown people who live in caves. If they don't like you, they'll could, they could call you a terrorist, lock you up, and you'll never be heard from again without judge, jury, or trial. I'm tired of this police state, folks, and you should be too. And going back to this, this bill being passed by the legislature, it's all what I said before. Things start at the local level. I lived in Austin, Texas for a while. And in Austin, Texas, you had, I, I heard on the news every day, because it's the capital, some of the most outlandish things they debate and get introduced there in that capitol building. Oh my gosh. Uh, so it's, so once I I got my security deposit and my tax return back, I hightailed it out of there, there right when they had that whole big swine flu thing, not because I was scared of the flu, but I was scared of what the heck these people would do. Anyways, so this is the Brian Venturini report on traffic light cameras that are going in Lakeland in June, probably whether this bill passes, gets signed by the governor or not. Thank you. Good day.